Welcome to the Frog Logic Squish for iOS demonstration. Frog Logic maintains total product focus on Squish. It's headquartered in Hamburg, Germany, it was established in 2003. It is a privately held company and has had U.S. presence since 2009. There is a large and growing customer base in the U.S., Europe, and Asia, and it's had steady revenue growth and been profitable since 2003. Frog Logic maintains a large and growing customer base with more than 1,500 companies currently using Squish. BioRad, a multinational manufacturer and distributor of life science research and clinical diagnostic products, selected Squish for their automated GUI testing. Some of the reasons Frog Logic's support for Mac OS X, application object introspection support, and the ability to select standard scripting languages for their automated testing. To view more about this success story and others, see froglogic.com slash success dash stories. Squish is an award-winning cross-platform multi-technology GUI automated testing tool, supporting a number of different platforms as well as an extensive list of technologies across the various platforms. The winner of the Dr. Dobbs Jolt Productivity Award, Squish offers a number of competitive advantages, with record and playback in a number of powerful scripting languages, as well as technology-dedicated GUI toolkit awareness, the ability to remotely distribute your testing, and support for complex and custom controls not to mention integration with a variety of ALM tools, and FrogLogic shares its source code with customers. For the Squish architecture, let's first take a look at test script creation. You're able to create scripts using an iOS simulator or an actual device. For the iOS simulator, the Squish IDE on the left generates scripts using a combination of the Squish runner and the Squish server with the Squish server launching the AUT, or application under test, injecting a hook, and recording all steps performed by the user within the AUT. Test script creation using an iOS device instead of the iOS simulator is very similar. The Squish IDE generates scripts using the Squish runner and the Squish server. However, the Squish server resides with the IDE connecting using a network connection to the AUT already running on the device. The AUT must be compiled using the Squish hook, allowing steps to be recorded as they are performed and reported back to the Squish IDE. For iOS test script execution, the Squish runner uses scripts and connects to the Squish server. The Squish server can reside with the Squish runner or on a remote machine, for example, when working with an iOS simulator. When working with the iOS device, the Squish server will connect via a network connection to the iOS device to playback scripts. One or more scripts can be run in parallel, running against multiple iOS simulators or devices. Next, we'll take a look at the Squish demonstration. We'll review the Squish IDE, recording and playback, creating and modifying test scripts, working with verification points, and reviewing test run results. The Squish IDE is Eclipse-based and used for creating, editing, and managing your test suites. It has an identical look and feel across all platforms and technologies supported by Squish. We'll begin by first creating a new test suite entering a name for the test suite, selecting the applicable toolkit, in this case iOS, the scripting language we would like to use, as well as the application to test. After creating a test suite, we can begin by recording a new test case. By clicking record, the iOS simulator is launched 
and we can begin clicking through the application as an end user would on a device. We also have the ability to create object-based verification points, screenshot-based verification points, and table verification points. Creating an object verification point, simply click the object properties verification point. You'll return to the Squish IDE where you can select an object or use our picker to more specifically locate an object within the object tree. Once finding an object that we would like to verify, we can also view properties for that object and determine which property we would like to verify about that object or multiple properties. Giving the verification point a name and selecting whether it should be script-based or property-based verification point. By properties, it will become part of your test case or your test suite, whereas Scriptified will place it simply as a step within your test case. Insert and then we were returned back to our recording where we can continue recording any actions against the application and simply click stop to view what we've recorded. For test case one, we recorded starting the application, clicking on a few areas within the application, and then our verification point for which we can see we are looking for the string B within a specific object. As with any of the Squish additions, your symbolic name displays within the script and by right clicking on the symbolic name and opening the symbolic name, the object map displays containing the true name or real name of the object as well as any properties used to locate that object. Making management of test scripts and reuse of objects easier over time. Let's click Run to watch the script that we recorded execute. And we're able to view our results. The verification point passed as B and B are equal. This is a simple case, however we can also show how it would appear had the test comparison or verification point failed and how that would impact our results. You can see we have a failure as B and C are not equal and then by double clicking on this step we can see the applicable line within our test script. The ability to take a screenshot following a verification point failure is available, as well as other logic you can incorporate to further test your application when an error is encountered. All scripts recorded from the simulator or the device can be used on the device and simulator interchangeably. Thank you for taking the time to view our demonstration. For more information, contact sales at froglogic.com or our website at froglogic.com where evaluations are also available for download.